we were very, very hard on ourselves, probably too much so at times in the Declan Kidney era in particular. We weren't interested after a game in what we did well because we probably knew already what we did yeah. well ourselves, but we were very hard on what we didn't do well. How can we improve that? And there's one story actually, I remember after a game, one of the games we lost against Leinster, and which was a local derby always, and we'd lost this game in Musgrave Park, and we lost to 10-5, and we were very, very disappointed, and the video session afterwards was always going to be a difficult one, but uh, the try we conceded, which was the one that you know, defined the game, if you like, was uh, one of these typical uh, O'Driscoll, Darcy, switch-type, loop-type plays, right? and scored under the post and won the match, I think it was 10-5 or something like that, right? A game we should not have lost, yeah. right? So we went through the video session and it was very, very uh, forensically analyzed now. Every moment, every touch, every tackle was gone through. And then the moment where the try uh, came up was just skimmed over. And Paul O'Connell, who was our captain at the time, right? Uh, turned around, so what happened there? And the defense coach said, it's okay, we've spoke to the guys involved and uh, we, we had it sorted but he said well, we don't know what happened there and there was a kind of an eerie silence in the room and Declan Kidney spoke up then and he said well look and all the people have been it's been dealt with I want to know what went wrong there he said yeah. and there was another eerie silence and I, I suppose everybody was the people that weren't involved were just delighted that it wasn't them but uh, so what had actually happened is is Ronan O'Gara and um, Lefimi Maffey which were 10 and 12, came up together, but one came up a small bit ahead of the other, yeah. which when that happens, it allows for a little uh, diagonal gap for somebody to get through. It's come true. So uh, I think what happened with, what happened was uh, uh, O'Gara said, well, actually, I came up, but Maffey didn't follow me, so. Chairman under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Maffey said, no, 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 hold on a second. It's the other way around. We had called the move that we weren't going up together. We were slowing down, coming up, and you went out of the line and you didn't stay with me. Yeah. And all of a sudden there was a bit of a <coughs> uh, argy-bargy, but it wasn't too bad. And the defensive coach came in, but at that moment alone, and I suppose it, 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 that tells a lot of stories. It talks about accountability. It talks about leadership in the way that Paul O'Connell being the leader, you know, taking on the head coach in this yeah. and the defensive coach and saying it in front of 40, 50 people, I want to know and in front of his colleagues, one of which is going to take the blame for this. Yeah. So there, there's a lot. So while that was a cringy, awkward moment for everybody in the room, in particular the guys that had, you know, they both, in their own minds, they were both right. But if that wasn't identified, yeah. uh, that we could have gone to play a, a big match in a, in a European match and a knockout and, and that could have lost the game. Mm -hmm.